Hi guys, this is Andrew and welcome to another video on AF Swift Tutorials. In this video, I will show you how to create a battery monitoring app in order to monitor better level and better status of your iOS device. It could be beneficial to check the battery status of your device, for instance, you wanted to use a map with the best accuracy and if your device is uh, on charge, you're using it, for instance, uh, in a car, you can use the best accuracy possible. But if your device is on battery power, it could degrade your battery very quickly. So without further ado, let's go to code. First, let's start from creating a battery view model and create three properties battery level, battery state description and battery state color. We will create an app that changes the background color either your iPhone is connected to the charging or on battery charge. Inside of init, we need to add UI device current is battery monitoring enabled. It's very important because without this uh, flag, you won't be able to monitor the battery level. All right, so now we can add a battery level and set battery state. I'm multiplying battery level by 100 because UI device current battery level returns us a float from 0 to 1. So in order to show it in percent, we just multiply it by 100. For showing battery states, I'll create separate function set battery states because we'll be using that in multiple places. Before setting battery states, we need two and other functions to get a color for particular situation, like uh, when charging, when full charge or when unplugged. And also we wanted to get a custom descriptions. So we need to switch on states to get those uh, descriptions and colors. So this function will get us a color. So we need another very similar function to get a description for a particular state. And I'm gonna call it get battery description. And gonna return regular string. All right, so now we have get battery description, get better power methods, so we can set battery states. First, let's set battery state description. We call get battery state description for battery state. And similarly, we are using battery state color and set using get battery color method for battery state and now we can call it inside of init method all right so now view model should be fine so now let's go to the view OK, 
Okay, so now we can use it using string interpolation. We call bet review model and battery level and add percent sign for battery level and for battery state again string interpolation battery view model and battery state description so let's add a couple modifiers like padding foreground color make it white and font make it bolder body bold and copy the same for battery state and for our Z stack we will change its color as well First, we need to change frame. We need to change frame max width and max height to infinity. And now we can change the background in order to fill the whole background of the iPhone. And in background, we will be getting our background from battery view model and battery state color. So let's run our preview now. And we are getting gray because our simulator doesn't show our real battery level and battery state. In order to test it, we need to connect real device to our Xcode. So now let's add some more functionality. Let's add a notification observer to observe the battery state changes and battery level changes. In order to do that, we need to add two notification observers and functions that will be calling when uh, state changes. So let's add two functions. And we need to mark it at OBJC in order to make it work with a selector. And first is battery level did change. And second, then state change. In battery state did change, we just called set battery state. And inside of battery level, we're calling set battery level. And in order to make those functions work, we need to add notification observers. And we need to add observer with selector, name, and object. So for observer, it's going to be self, selector, call hash selector and first let's add better level did change okay, like this and for name it's going to be UI device and better level did change notification for object it's going to be nil and we can copy this and add another change uh, our method to battery state did change and for our notification it's going to be battery state did change like this and now we should be able to observe changes so let's see uh, that on a real device when we plugged in our device our screen changes when we unplug again we have yellow background so that's it with the battery monitoring. If you find this video useful, give it a like. Consider subscribing to this channel for more videos. And thank you for watching. And I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.